Good afternoon students. Welcome to Mrs. Nanda Biology Tutorial. Today we will discuss plus one class that is the first chapter living world. You have already seen my schedule. Monday, Tuesday I will deliver the lecture for 12th class. Thursday, Friday I will for 11th and Saturday for 10th. So welcome again to my and I will follow only NCRT book. That is main for you. Concept should be clear for, of NCRT to clear your need also. So today the first chapter and the only the definitions in uh, this class. So that is a living word. Living word include living beings. So what are living beings which are those give response to stimuli, reproduce, grow and they show the self-replication. That is the main thing, living thing. So today we will discuss the various features of a living thing. First feature is all living things show cellular structure. So what is cellular structure means they consist of living matter which is called protoplasm. So protoplasm further include or consist of two things nucleus and cytoplasm. So all living thing consist of this living matter. So very essential property of the living beings which take part in various reactions. Second feature or property of the living beings are all show metabolism. So what is metabolism? The chemical changes takes place inside the cell and various reaction in the cell. It is further of two types. One is called to be anabolism and second is called to be catabolism. Anabolism and second is called to be catabolism. Anabolism means the building up of the reactions or constructive reaction of the body. For example, very good example of this is called photosynthesis which is a main process of plants. What does it mean? In photosynthesis, carbon dioxide combined with water to give rise to the product that is called to be glucose, C6H12O6 plus O2. So you can balance this equation yourself. So this is called to be anabolism means building of the reaction to form complex structure. Very important phenomena. Secondly, when you reverse this equation and that equation will be for respiration. That is another very important process of living beings. What does it mean? Breakdown of complex C6H12O6. They need oxygen for this reaction and products are CO2. Then there is a formation of water plus energy. So it means now the breakup or it is also called destructive process which is called catabolism. So it means for the living beings, metabolism is a very important process for the catabolism, anabolism. So first property was cellular structure. Second property was metabolism. Third property of living beings that is very important. They show growth. They show growth. Growth means increase in mass, volume and weight and it is also called to be irreversible process. It is also called to be irreversible. Increase in mass, volume and weight. So growth in case of living things is when growth inside the cell, inside the body. Growth which show internal. Right? And it is called the intussusception, very important word for I N T U double S 
U S C E P T I O N in two susception. Second growth non living also show that is deposition of the material outside. When there is a deposition of material outside, so it is again addition, and this type of growth is called accretion. So two word intussusception and accretion. So MCQ can be asked. There is a neat paper. So third property is called to be reproduction. Very important property is reproduction of living being. They reproduce. Why they reproduce? To exist in the surrounding, or they give birth to young ones, which increase the population. Meant for adaptation, so it means reproduction is must for living beings. It is of various types. We will discuss in the next chapters. That is asexual, sexual, regeneration by spore formation. But the organism they reproduce very important process or property of living being. Next property is called to be consciousness. C O N S C I U S N E S. That means response to the external stimuli. External stimuli. It is called to be consciousness of the living beings, or you can say in other word, awareness to the surrounding. Very important process of bees. Maybe physical response, maybe chemical, maybe biological. So that means they give the surrounding response. Very important property of the living beings. Consciousness. Next is another property or feature is every. Living beings need energy, so energy means capacity to do some work. So that's why every living being need energy, and energy from where we get, we get from food. So every living beings need food for their survival. So that is again another property of these living beings. Next property, very important, adaptation. All living beings, they adjust to the surrounding. They adapt themselves to the surrounding, so they can adjust very well. Very important feature of the living beings. Then we will discuss later on. But in brief, they are maybe short term, they may be long term adaptation for the living beings. Short term adaptation is very important. That means for the short time, for example, hibernation. Animals hibernate themselves when they can't adjust. We will discuss in the next chapters. Long term adaptation, the various adaptation of the birds, claws to get their prey. So that means that the main adapt. We are having the opposite thumb to the hand to hold the things. So this, that is long term adaptation. So come to the point. Adaptation is considered to be as a very important feature of the living being. So again, I'm repeating: uh, living things they having special cellular structure. Then second, they <coughs> show metabolism. They show growth, reproduction. Then consciousness, energy, adaptation. Then they also undergo various development. They show development of from young one to adult changes and death is there. So it means they also show self-regulatory or self-replicated organism. So that means these are the main properties of the living being, but they are different from non-living. So non-living don't have such property. So it means living things or living beings are can having number of the properties to survive. Today was only the definition we are discussing. That is for your board and for your meat. Then comes all this. The second subtopic 
these living things they are of various size shape color and it is called biodiversity next definition biodiversity means wide variety wide variety of the organism on the earth may be of size shape habitat habit some are very small some are very large some belongs to different group so that means the biodiversity that another definition detail we will discuss in the next chapters of these then identification of the organism next definition because in this chapter according to ncrt only the definitions are there i hope uh, it is clear to you identification means to identify the organism correctly that means where it belong which class which phylum which group so that means the identification place habitat habit that is called identification next definition next definition of the word is taxonomy taxonomy of the living beings or organism so taxonomy is the branch of bio or science deals with classification identification nomenclature the nomenclature so that means that this definition or is called branch taxonomy very important for the bio then comes organism has to be classified so classification next definition is called classification classifying the organism into various categories various groups that is called to be classification the branch deals with the classification right so that means taxonomy leads to the taxonomy next definition of according to the board is nomenclature nomenclature means naming of the organism naming of organism is called nomenclature very important of the living plants animals or all living beings the naming then comes another definition is called binomial nomenclature by nomial nomenclature means every organism on the earth consist of two names one is called generic name and second is called species name so together constitute binomial nomenclature so definition can be asked what do you mean by the binomial nomenclature naming of the organism and these names are called to be throughout the world scientific names they are called scientific name it is common or same throughout the world now the next question for the board for two marks what are the rules of this nomenclature various rules of this nomenclature very important for the board question rules generic name written first first rule generic name written first and specific or species name written afterward written afterward or after that second rule the starting word of the generic name always written in capital letter and species is start with the small alphabet or small letter for example there are so many name we will discuss one by one in the classification for example mango this example given in ncrt name is mangifera indica okay for human beings it is called homo sapiens 
so there are so many example we can learn afterward we will learn afterward in according to the chapter so come to the point so it means first capital small if it is hand written second rule another rule then underline both generic and species but separately this is wrong but there is a gap that means they are separate underline separate but if it is written in book you can see they are written in italics if it is in italics then don't underline that is another rule so it means generic followed by species then the another rule if it is variety if it is a scientist name that come after species that is a variety subspecies afterward so first come generic name second come the species name both are underlined separately that is a main rule if it is written or in a small letter so it means up to the uh, here there are the main definitions that is for the board for 11th i hope you like this lecture next lecture will be the classification we will discuss afterward up to here is clear any doubt and thank you very much for watching my video thanks